Here we go. Thank you. I see stupid people doing stupid things. I see stupid challenges. I see all types of different things. But uh, you got to draw the line somewhere. You know, and we're going to be talking about that. All right, I hope we're back on now. Let me know if it's still goofing up or not. And if it is, I will try something different. But it's showing that it's smooth on my end, so hopefully that, that fixed the problem. Uh, let me know if it's still doing it or not. But, uh, yeah, man, um, a lot of people are going to be out of a job. Eventually, they're going to replace the police force with robots, firefighters with robots, EMS with robots. Um, they're going to replace pilots and bus drivers and taxi cabs and all that stuff. They're going to replace all that stuff with robots. Well, I mean, look at what they're doing with Tesla, self-driving cars. All that stuff is already going on. It's just a matter of time, bro. But uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get on with this, this, this first topic. If at all it starts bugging out, if my life starts having a stroke, let me know down there in the comments below. But uh, two children have lost their lives due to a TikTok challenge. And this is what I was talking about when it comes to drawing the line, when it comes to certain things. Um, the challenge is to take, well, I think it was... 10 to 12 Benadryl the challenge was to take 10 to 12 Benadryl and it would create a hallucinogen make you start hallucinating now this one kid specifically took more than the quote unquote needed amount for this challenge to start hallucinating and when he did it uh it put him in the hospital and while he was in the hospital fighting for his life, he lost his life because he he went over the required amount. He went over the recommended amount by doctors anyways. He went way over that amount. But he went even further over the required amount for this challenge. And this is why I say, when it comes to social media, bro, there's some things that you just have to draw the line on. Now... Is this the child's fault? No. The kid. So whatever he sees that's trending on the internet, he's gonna try and hop on the trend. He's gonna try and use it to get famous. He's gonna. It's just it's it's a natural thing, bro. People are gonna hop onto a uh, people are gonna hop onto the trend train. And when the trend train is currently hauling stuff that is destructive, fatal. Uh, uh, deceptive or anything of negativity bro people are going to get hurt people are going to lose their lives people are going to have all types of different consequences that come with getting on that train bro uh, this is why the people who set these types of trends who do these types of trends they should be the ones held accountable and held responsible for stu doing such things and even then, this type of stuff shouldn't even be allowed on social media, period, where children have easy access to it. I mean, TikTok is, you know, it's, yes, a lot of adults use it, but it's also, at the same time, a child's platform. It is a kid's platform. So when you put stuff like this on, content like this on a platform that has, I would say, half if not maybe majority users are as children uh, I mean, what can you expect bro kids are very impressionable so when you do certain things that they think is cool that's going to make them famous or whatever the case may be you best believe they're going to do it and when they do it guess what <clears throat> certain things there's just no coming back from like losing your life bro you there was another, uh, there was another, I think, 15-year-old girl who also lost her life due to this same challenge. Uh, I don't remember if she went over the amount or not, too. I think she did. 
I'm pretty sure she did. But she lost her life to this challenge too. And it was a 13 year old boy. So a 13 year old boy and a 15 year old girl both lost their lives to some stupid challenge that somebody decided to come up with. All in the name of getting famous. All in the name of blowing, their, blowing up on their account on TikTok. All in the name of doing all this, that, and the third. Of getting, of getting clout money, whatever the case may be, bro. And this is a shame. And people don't know where to draw the line. And when you don't know where to draw the line, who knows who's going to get caught in the crossfire when it comes to this type of stuff, bro. Uh, you're going to have casualties when you don't know where to draw the line. And them casualties are going to be on you. And you know the messed up part is, the person who created the challenge, guess what they're going to say? They're going to turn around and say, well, it's not my fault they went over the limit. It's not my fault they didn't do it right. It's not my fault, da, 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 da. You know, people never take responsibility for nothing. People never uh, accept responsibility for anything. They're automatically going to try and push it off to the, to the next person. They're going to try and, and, and uh, blame something on somebody else. And it's just a shame. And y'all, you probably hear that airplane flying way over my, my place. Uh, it's just a shame, dude, when you see stuff like this. So, if you see a challenge or whatever that is, that could be <clears throat> fatal or it could be damaging to somebody, especially children, bro, you need to start reporting that stuff immediately, bro. Mass report it as much as you can. Take it off the internet because kids... When they see that stuff, they're going to hop on the trend as well. And they're going to lose their lives. Because somebody was negligent enough to do something stupid on the internet. Just to, just to get famous. So with that being said, I hope everybody, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Make sure you share with your friends, your families, your mommies, aunties, grannies, and everybody else. With that being said, I'll be right back for the next episode. Deuces.